Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new Tecto gear to share with you guys and gals today, and it is a very sleek looking one. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. This is the Tecto gear F2 Bravo. Would you look at it in all its sleekness and all of its carbon fiberness? Now, this is the Ember carbon fiber, and I'm guessing that they're calling it the Ember because you can see a little bit of that red. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of texture vision for you. Now, as far as your feel, eh, not too bad. I'd give it about a two. It is relatively slick, but you can feel the texture. Now, check this out. Something that you don't normally see is, look at this, that pivot. I don't know that I've seen a pivot that looks like that. And on this side, it looks regular, and that is a T8. Would you look at it? If I can show you, there you go. The camera does not like carbon fiber. <laughs> this is a titanium alloy. Now this uh, this clip, this milled pocket clip, isn't complete, it does react to a magnet just a little bit. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it is sturdy. It's easy in and out of the pocket and it's very clean looking. And look at this, you cannot see the blade. The blade is completely hidden. Speaking of blades, you ready to see it? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh yeah, look at that. Now there are a lot of features that are really going to uh, be, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? That's really going to appeal to a lot of folks. It is super lightweight. It only weighs 2.2 ounces. It's 7.8 inches overall, 3.33 inch blade. Your blade stock's 114 thousandths of an inch. And behind the edge, it varies from 17 to 22 thousandths of an inch. It has a very nice looking blade. It is coated and you do have a, a, some branding going on there, Tecto. And then as far as sharpening, well, your plunge grind kind of goes straight down. So it, this isn't actually too bad for sharpening wise. And oh, 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 hold up. <laughs> We're gonna check out the jimping here in just a second. And for all of you that like the recessed liners, there you go, look at that. No liners that you can see. And there's your backspacer. Very nice looking backspacer. It has a little, uh, I don't know what it, what you would call that, a little bit of milling going through to give it a very nice appearance. And let's see if it comes sharp right out of the box. Will it cut the El Piper? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, okay. It is very shwink. It's very shwinky. Okay, so it does have a nice quiet edge. It's not grabbing the paper. Very, very nice. Okay, so we have a good edge out of the box. So the finish on it is very nice, very clean. How about the fit, left and right? Oh, okay, it is absolutely solid. Zero play, left to right, up or down, which is very nice, very, very nice. And we are right in the middle as far as a lockup. And how about centering? Are we centered? Yes, it is centered with a nice strong looking tip. And let's see what it looks like next to a couple of our favorites. Here is, you know what it is. Everyone should have it, the QSP Penguin. And here, here's one that I wanted to show you. This is the mini, I believe it's called the mini C. It's the CRKT CEO Mini. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I will have links to all of these knives in the description if you want to check them out and get the correct name because I think it's called the Mini, pretty sure it is. But if you actually, if you want to see the Mini up with the, the CEO, there's the CRKT CEO, there's the Mini. Now you see what we're stepping in. Can you smell what we're stepping in? It's pretty much the same length as the CEO. Now here's another one. Here is the Civivi Clavi. <laughs> this one even is even uh, smaller, smaller profile and very, uh, very pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Much pokier. And how about this one? The Petrified Fish Scout. I really like this one. If you like flunt, flunt frippers, do you like flunt frippers? But you, this one is very easy to use. And well, anyway, this video is not about that one. There's one more that I want to show you. And this is a budget one, the Rake P865. This is the one that I kind of thought would be the closest. And you know what? They are pretty darn close. Now F2 Bravo, like I said, it comes in different colors. I'm not sure how many different variations, but you could go and check for yourself. I'll have a link in the comments and in the video description. Make it easy if you want to go look. This is a USA company from Portland, Portland, Maine. I almost said Portland, Oregon. Uh, yeah, there's no mistaking. You do have some branding going on right there. They do all the main, not the manufacturer, but they do all, at least all the assembly in Portland. Now for the action on this thing, ooh yeah, it is it is very I mean listen listen, here's some acoustics. Listen how snappy. Ooh. Very nice. It's droppy shutty for such a lightweight knife. I mean, if the whole knife itself only weighs two ounces, you know the blade doesn't weigh that much, and that is very, very impressive. It has ceramic bearings. Now, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. Let's see how it feels. Being all nice and relaxed, 
Yes. Oh yeah. So I have a, a large width hand. If you have an extra large width hand, you have plenty of room for your, your pinky finger. Or like I said before, if you have six fingers, hey, go ahead. Um, it's very comfortable. There's no hot spots at all. There's really not much to worry about when you have such a neutral handle and you have a milled clip like this. You can see it's chamfered on the edges. Now these edges right here, I can feel them just a little bit. They're not hateful, but you know, this isn't going to be a knife that you're going down chopping down trees with, or are you? No, probably not. But this this is this would be a very nice gentleman's carry or ladies carry one you take out on the town it'll do all the tasks that you need for whatever occasion and if you're allowed to carry a knife at work or in your suit or something like that this would be a very nice one and you know what it probably wouldn't look too bad in your shirt pocket that's all you would see is this nice clip it's very modular looking i, I do like the looks of it i like the fact that the blade disappears and like this is all you get if you have that sitting on your desk that is very very nice i'd say this would be good definitely for opening up packages or opening up mail or cutting up your apple or something uh, i don't know why when i think of a knife like this i think of like more of an office type setting but this is you know you're, you're going out it's uh it's really nice it's elegant yet it is very sturdy it's strong and speaking of which um here is speaking of strong how strong is the jimping the jimping is grabby. I did notice that it does a good job of grabbing. I wouldn't mind if it had, I think jimping on flipper tabs should all go all the way around on both edges. That way you don't have a chance of missing like I did a second ago. But push button is very snappy. And of course you can flick your bick. So there's one, two, three different ways to open it. And that's pretty much it because there is no grabbing the blade or reverse flick or none of that fanciness. It's what you see is what you get. Nice looking red and black carbon fiber on this one. I did see some other cool colors. I just can't, oh, there's one that has a blue. This is blue and it looks very nice. So there's the Tecto Gear F2 Bravo. I hope you enjoyed checking it out with me. I think it's a very nice knife. I like these CEO style knives. They're, they're very nice. I wear polos sometimes with the shirt pocket and I'll put this in there. And you know, if I go up to fan, go to fancy things like a wedding or something like that, I do like to have a knife like this with me. Now these are running, they run around 139 to 149. Um, I would expect it's probably because this is a USA company that, that it's assembly these this is d2 steel so the price point may or may not be an issue i do want to hear what everyone has to say about this knife are you familiar with this company i've done a couple other knives from them and they are made well as far as i know they're pretty sturdy but definitely let me know what you think and if you're not interested in the knife tell everybody hello tell us what you had for breakfast but go watch this video you're really going to enjoy that and until i see you in the chats or the other live streams or the hive stream here at bees blades every friday night 8 15 to 11 15 p.m eastern time remember live life in the present keep a band-aid handy and don't cut yourself